There is plenty to bring you up to speed on this week on the college signing front headlined by Quincy High sprint sensation Allie Rose making it official that she'll continue her career at William Penn. Well, when I first went there, all the coaches were very like kind and opening and they knew what they were doing. The teammates were really accepting. The college is a great campus and I feel really safe there. I think they're getting a steal. She didn't have a senior season. Um, she, she's a school record holder. Um, she was school record holder when she was a freshman on the 4 by one She reset it with, with another group. Um, as a junior, she also got the 100-meter record. Um, I think they're getting a steal. Somebody that, you know, has, has kind of been able to fly under the radar uh, for so long. I'm so excited to go to college. and I continue to do workouts even though track did get canceled. But I'm really hopeful for the future, and I'm really excited about going to college next year and competing. They want me to come in and do sprints and relays and just try to get better, break PRs, and maybe break records. <laughs> well, right now I want to do exercise science and maybe become an athletic trainer or somewhere in that field, but I'm kind of unsure right now. On the basketball front, it's finally official with both Palmyra's Jaden Durst and Monroe City's Bryce Stark uniting and teaming up at Hannibal LaGrange. It means a lot, Con continuing my journey of playing basketball, it's one of the main things I wanted to do. For sure, like, want to build the bond with my teammates and just try to uplift the program. It's a style that fits you. Was that kind of why this was the right choice? Yeah, for sure. Like, me and Coach Jesus were talking about it. I think they're on Princeton. I think it's what it's called here. It's just like the offense we run at Monroe, so I think I should fit in well. Yeah, I'm really excited about it, and like, like you said, I've had an opportunity to watch the program my whole life, and to get to come in and have a chance to compete and get to play is really awesome, and I'm really looking forward to it. Like you said, we had a great class around here, and there's a lot of good players, and me and Bryce both decided to come here, and I think it's going to work out really good, and we're going to mesh together really well and hopefully win some lots of games. With an eye on the future, HLG has also snared Drew Martins out of West Hancock as part of its developmental program. Uh, it means a lot. It just means all uh, the people that have helped me along the way. It's kind of a reward to me and to them since they've helped me along the way and got, pushed me to be the person that I am today. Uh, I definitely think that I still need to improve a lot to maybe make the varsity basketball team here, but I think I can do it. I just love to see the fact that basketball go through the bottom of the net and it's just kind of a, you shoot it and it's a self reward right then and there. I'm looking to go into law enforcement. I want to do something. I don't necessarily know what I want to do with that yet. I just know that I want to help people and I feel law enforcement is the way to go to help people.